What's up guys? Big D Wiz, old school stereo.com. Well, I've told you guys before that I appreciate donations and today maybe the biggest donation we've received yet to date. Now it doesn't have to be monetary, monetary is always appreciated, but we'll also take amplifier speakers, anything else you want to donate. So what we normally do is turn around and resell those, you know, so we can help pay for the website and for the test equipment that we use to do the tests that you guys like so much. So anyway. Enough babbling, let's get on to opening this box and see what's inside. Alright, let's dive in. have an idea based on the size of the box that this is probably an amplifier, not a speaker. Let's see. Packed very well, might I add. Got our old trick here of using the uh, full noodles. Those always work good. All right, see what this is. Can you guys believe we have an Orion NT? 200? You gotta be kidding me. By the way guys, this is a little trick I learned. You go to the dollar store, depending on what time of year it is, you can buy these foam pool noodles. They use them for floating in the pools, but they work great for packing up boxes, amps, speakers, all kinds of stuff for shipping. So. My recommendation is to go there during the summer and buy them by the dozens. It's so much easier to use those to pack up than it is almost anything else. Ryan NT200 dual mono block. Purple. That is beautiful. Here we have the left balance input, right balance input. We have the DIN plug and the gain. There's the mono sub button. We have the old school Ryan plug, and then we have the plus and minus. What you say we pop this baby open and see what it looks like inside. Yeah, we'll do that next. All right, so we pulled the cover here off of the Orion NT. Check this baby out. Beef E is all I can say. Mighty, mighty beefy amplifier. Look at all of the capacitors here. 3300 microfarad. We got the power supply capacitors here. It looks like it's a dual mono design. It's got dual toroids. Very, very nice. This amplifier is rated at 100 watts by two in the four ohms. And in the manual, it doesn't really say what it'll do loaded down, but rumors are it'll do somewhere around 800 watts or so, maybe more. Well, you know what that means. We're definitely gonna have to test it and find out. Now the only issue I can see right off the bat is we don't have these balanced inputs that go here, these little mini XLRs, or we don't have a, a DIN accessory from Orion. So we'll have to uh, maybe get some adapters that go from the, the balanced inputs to RCAs, or maybe get a little Orion EQ or crossover so we can actually plug this choker up and test it out. Well, there you have it guys. The most impressive donation yet to date of old school stereo is the Orion NT200 dual mono block. B 
beast of an amplifier, which we'll find out soon exactly how beastly it is. But anyway, I appreciate the donation and we'll soon find out what it'll do. This is Big D Wiz, oldschoolstereo.com. I'm out of here.